getting a group of baseball players and some other uh, athletes and we went to the basketball games. The club just formed with 25 to 30 baseball players. Yeah, it was just uh, a way that when they played at home to have a Thursday and Saturday social event. The student section was completely empty. Well, you know, sprint over to the Martin Center and, and you know, five minutes before the game, take our space. So we'd show up five minutes beforehand and we would have center court, one row, all the way up to five rows. There was this chunk that uh, stayed empty. No one would take it because they knew that's where we were going. How many ever tickets you needed, you got. You know, and if there were people there, we'd throw them out anyway. We had to do something to, to get that you know, college sports experience. Just part of the college experience, going cheering on, on a basketball team. This school's built on traditions. When I came to visit here, I didn't really know the school all too well, but I knew of its traditions. I consider myself one of the biggest fans of Gonzaga basketball. No homework on Thursday nights, no homework on Saturday nights. To be a president uh, in 84, 85, and I was president in 1988, you essentially had to be old enough, I mean, and you had to have a house where you could host a large enough group. The guy I lived with was the president in 95, and then he graduated, and I just ended up, it was just fell to me take over. So that's simple. It was pretty easy to be president at that time. It's a little more difficult now. Freshman, sophomore year, you know, I was camping out. I was, you know, in the snow, waiting in line for tickets. Got first row like every game. I was lucky enough that they, they kind of noticed it and uh, just, got, just got picked. Our budget, we had no budget. You know, I'm dealing with Gonzaga student body, um, athletic department, all the sponsors. There was absolutely no structure to what we did back in the 80s. It's a big business because you're you're trying to oversee 2,000 people and it's, it's such a big responsibility. The people that come here, they know what to expect. We have a family-oriented atmosphere. This is the richest experience you get at Gonzaga, one of the richest experiences. You don't go to any of the schools, you don't get the kennel experience. It's it's nice, small atmosphere, and you pack it with 1,500 students and 6,000 rowdy, crazy fans, and it becomes amazing. You, it's deafening. When I came here, deafening. I couldn't hear myself scream. You no, know, we just kind of would like to support everybody else continuing that. So, and we'll we'll keep it going for a while. It's so much more than just. Gonzaga basketball. It's the whole community of Spokane. It is Gonzaga Nation. You're part of a group that's bigger than any other group on campus. It's really awesome to know like that they appreciate what we're doing and so that's that's really rewarding for me. When you look back at you know where it started and 25 to 30 guys. How much they paying you rep? You're a cheater 44! We thought that once we left it'd be dead and to see it now you know, beginning of the game to see 1,500 students jumping up and down and to realize that, okay, that started in 1984, 85 when I was here. It's impressive. And I want to keep that tradition going. I want to pass it down to these guys and say, hey, this, this is one of the richest traditions. Keep that going because everyone should experience it the right way, the Zag way. And that's why I'm here. To me, the, the greatest honor, I think, is to be called a Zag. It's a feeling of community, it's a feeling of pride, and that's a memory that, and a tradition that will stick. And I think they should take great pride in the fact that we have a group that every other college would love to have. It's a great group and it's a great way to spend four years of college. All right, when we come back, we'll wrap up the show. Don't go anywhere. And in Depp SNHD. It's been amazing. It's been really cool to see, really powerful. Um, people have been really supportive. Um, my family's been really excited about, about it and just to see it. They actually came to the game last year and were really touched by the whole environment and see everyone you know, in the Gonzaga community backing this little project that was started by me and Brian. So 
it's really cool to see the community kind of take it and run with it. And I think part of it is that everyone has been affected by cancer, so they can all relate to the story and the reason behind it. All right, thanks, Sarah. Remember, get your Believe t-shirts at cvct.com. And the game coming up uh, later this season against San Diego, I guess everybody in the arena is going to have it on. But I, that's when you get to your position and, and you get this program and it's got this big audience, that's one of the great benefits of it. You guys can get messages out like this. And, and this is a great message. Yeah. I mean, this is a great message. Sarah Michelson, is a, she is an awesome human being, and she came up with this idea. It was a huge hit last year, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's really... Uh, uh, you know, caught fire, and there's a. She's got several programs to be able to do it out there uh, nationally, and uh, it was it, it was such a rousing hit last year that uh, we're gonna uh, obviously have everybody in the kennel wearing this. The coaches will be wearing, uh, both coaches will be, uh, staffs will be wearing it. And it's just a great idea, and uh, obviously with Brian working on the staff and, and Sarah works uh, uh, with our weight training here uh, on campus, so. Uh, it, it, it's it's a really cool idea, and it really took off last year, and I think it's just going to continue to grow uh, incrementally. All right, turn the corner now. The week ahead, the road trips begin in the West Coast Conference, yeah. USF and Santa Clara. Yeah, I mean, you've been with us on those before. I mean, Santa Clara will be a dogfight. Every year it's just a knockdown, drag out, come down to a last possession. <laughs> uh, they play very, very hard. I'm sure they'll uh, get up and get after us. And, push and so shove and grind and, and, uh, and play very, very well. I mean, that's one game on their schedule I think they circle. And, and uh, this team needs to understand that. When the Zags go on the road, how bad uh, uh, the league teams uh, want a piece of us. You know, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have to talk and talk and talk about that. Last year we got beat at San Francisco, you know, and they stormed the floor and it was a, it was a, it was a big moment. So uh, both those teams, uh, will come after us and they're not going to be easy but uh you know uh, i like i like where we you know we take a step back you know all of a sudden now we're 13 and 5 and and uh and i've done a nice job in a variety of ways of 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 playing good basketball all right it's the mark few show have a great week we'll see you next week right here